Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today it is Friday the 29th of November and I'm off work again today because I pretty much always have Fridays off. Today I've got a fairly busy day lined up because I have to get my car NCT'd at two o'clock and then after I get the car NCT'd, hopefully it passes and then I have to come back and then Frank has an appointment at the vet's for half four this afternoon. And I don't think there's anything wrong with them, but we just need to get like um, some of the just regular like worming tablets and all that kind of crack that we need to get anyway. And he doesn't need to be there for that, but I just want to get him checked out because it's been a while since he's been to see a vet and I just wanna make sure that everything is okay. Cause we've noticed that he sometimes coughs and we think it's cause he eats grass and it's probably because he eats grass but I just want the vet to double check to make sure that there's nothing more sinister going on. I'm getting a little hungry now, so I'm going to make my lunch. And today for lunch, I'm having scrambled eggs and toast. <laughs> So that's probably not the greatest presentation of a meal that I've ever had, but it's scrambled egg and toast and it's just something really simple and quick to make because I don't have a lot of time and it's quite tasty. And actually one thing I want to chat about is I've been listening a lot to the new U2 song this morning. Um, I, I think it came out a few days ago, but I only listened to it for the first time this morning. It's called Ahimsa. And I really like it. Like I was saying to some of my friends earlier that like I really like the kind of vibe you two have had for the last couple of albums. And that seems to have carried through to this new song. And um, yeah, just really enjoying it. Um, on a side note, I should probably mention that you two are my favorite band in the world anyway. So the new song has kind of got me in the mood to listen to a lot of U2. So I'll probably be listening to U2 for the rest of the day while I'm doing all my running around. So there you go. Probably didn't need to know that. None of you probably wanted to know that, but there it is. Okay, gonna have my lunch now because I'm hungry. <music> So I'm just down at the NCT Centre now and I realise I haven't fully explained what the NCT is yet for anyone who might not know and I can't redo it right this second because I have to run in, I've just parked my car up. I'm really early but they've let me come in anyway which is great. So I'm going to go in and get all set up and then I will talk to you guys about the process as soon as I can. Okay so I'm supposed to have gone up to the waiting area now but I just decided to come out and explain exactly what it is that I'm doing here. So for anyone who doesn't know in Ireland cars have to go through the NCT and basically what it is is a test. It stands for National Car Test and it's basically you get a certificate of roadworthiness for your car. So depending on the age of your car, like if you get a new car you don't have to get an NCT at all for I think it's like four years but once your car is more than four years old it has to go for the NCT every two years and then once your car gets to 10 years old you have to get it done every year so my car turned 10 last year so when I got it NCT last year it was only valid for the year which kind of sucks so now it means that I have to come every year or get a new car so the car is left in now and I'm gonna go up and wait for it basically they just kind of like test the engine test the brakes test the lights all this kind of stuff just to make sure that your car is fit to be on the road and yeah so if it passes I'm good for a year if it doesn't pass it means that I have to go and get my car fixed and made roadworthy by their standards and then go and do the test again which is a bit of a nightmare if that happens fingers crossed it doesn't I got my car serviced yesterday and I told them that it was going for the NCT today so they checked a few other things that they wouldn't normally check on the service just to kind of hopefully get it through. I don't know of any reason why it won't pass and I'm hoping it does, but we'll find out shortly.
move. In two minutes, it will be the time that I was due to arrive to get my NCT done at. The car passed, so I'm absolutely delighted. I couldn't be happier with that. By the time my NCT is due for renewal, the car will be due for another service as well. So I'll make sure just to get the service done first and make sure that everything is in order before I go and get an NCT next year. But I'm really happy that my car passed because now that means I don't have to kind of get any work done on it and bring it back down and get it retested again because that would just be such a hassle. So I'm home and I'm just chilling on the couch with Frank. Now I'm a little bit worried because, well I'm not worried, but I think I'm just gonna need to leave really early again because it took me about 40 minutes to get home from the NCT center and that's kind of a short drive. The vet's on the other side of the city. Now Google Maps and Apple Maps both say it's a 21 to 22 minute journey, but if it took me 40 minutes to make a really short trip home, I'm worried that it could take a good bit longer to get to the vets. So yeah, we'll see. I'll give myself enough time. I should be early to get him to the vets. But we'll see, will we actually be early? Dublin traffic's crazy. Also, it's Black Friday, so it's probably worse than normal. But Dublin traffic on any Friday is never a good thing. Frank and I are just at the vets now and we're in the waiting room and we're waiting to see the vet. Uh, it took us way longer to get here, so uh, we just about made it on time. We're home from the vet and I've just fed Frank his dinner and Frank got some medication while he was at the vet's. So he's on an antibiotic for the next five days. So he gets four tablets once a day. So I just put the medication into his dinner and he's had it and he didn't even notice. But basically the vet thinks he has something called Bardetella, which is like a basically like a cough and he said that the antibiotic should clear it up. So with any luck, that'll be the end of his cough after the five days. But in general, the vet was really happy with Frank and he thinks he's just in really great condition and says he's a very healthy dog and he's super fit and he's really muscly and he just thinks he's in all around great condition. So I'm really happy with that and hopefully this will be the end of his cough. I'm just prepping dinner now. So for dinner tonight, Elaine and I are having burgers and chips, but we're having veggie burgers and chips and she's on her way home from work now. So I just have the oven on and I'm getting ready to put everything in. So I'm back out in the car again, obviously, and I've come down to the supermarket because Elaine and I are gonna watch the toy show tonight because in Ireland the toy show is like this sort of big thing. So basically what the toy show is for anyone who doesn't know, is it's called the Late Late Toy Show. It's on RTE, which is the national state broadcaster. And it's kind of, the Late Late Show is like the Friday night talk show on the channel. But every year they do the Late Late Toy Show, which is basically, it's a Christmas program for kids. And they highlight all of kind of the big toys that kids are gonna be looking at for Christmas this year. And it's just, it's been running for, I don't know how many years, like 30 something years at this stage, maybe longer. And like I've grown up with it my whole life. It's just such a big deal here in Ireland. So we're looking forward to that tonight. But for that, we want some snacks. Now, I really wanted popcorn, Elaine wants chocolate, but we didn't have either. So I've come down to the shop and I'm going to get some popcorn kernels and I'm going to make popcorn myself. So it'll be like being at the cinema, which is what I love. And I'm going to get like a big bag of peanut M&Ms for Elaine. And then I'll probably
probably have some of the peanut M&Ms because I really like peanut M&Ms. This boy is definitely ready for the toy show. The toy show is just about to start and I am just making the popcorn now. I was planning on doing it about five minutes ago but I got distracted, so what are you gonna do? Okay, so the toy show is over and myself and Frank are just sitting on the couch, but we're not going to stay here. We're actually going to go to bed now because we're both very tired. So I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys like it. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm.